Hello, it's Paul. I just wanted to quickly show you how to bulk edit all your YouTube descriptions one time. If you're like me, and every now and again you'll change perhaps your, your Facebook um, URL or you'll change your website name or for some reason something's changed and you've got links on all your videos. At the bottom of your videos you might have some sort of link that you want to change and it's on every single one because it's on your YouTube default. I'm going to show you how to edit it quickly. So you're going to have to go to TubeBuddy. And I'll show you here. It's $19 a month. Um, if you want to do more than one. Which obviously you do because it's called bulk. So um, I don't want you to go any further on this video. If you think you're going to get it for free. So what you'll see here is. Um, but you got you get absolutely loads with with uh, tube buddy you can see that i use it where am i bulk bulk processing right so this is what i'm talking about today it is bulk find replace and append and it doesn't work on the free or the pro plan it only works on the star and the legend so i don't need to go any further if you don't understand that it's going to be 19 dollars. but if you stick with me i'll show you how to uh change everything so what you're going to do is you're going to log into tube buddy add a channel it's going to go through and say which channel do you want and you pick which YouTube channel you want. I've obviously already done it. You then go to uh, TubeBuddy for YouTube Chrome extension. So if you Google TubeBuddy for, for YouTube Chrome and then add this to your Chrome. I'll put a link below so that you know exactly where to go. Um, and then when you're logged in, it'll say up here, log in to uh, your TubeBuddy. You click on it and log in it's that easy so i may do another video showing you exactly how to do it but it really is simple to do that now when i click here i've got all these shortcut links using tube buddy and what i'm interested in is my videos and bulk actions find replace and append so for instance if i um what i did here was i added this piece of text to every video so what I want actually is a space there instead so I'm going to copy that find and replace text right so I want to find that uh, note because you find text contains characters check include partial yeah so it's automatically checked this right so I want I want it to find this description but this time I want to put a space see how see how there's no gap between that description there and the space I'm going to put a space in there so I want a space and then that text, right? So then I'm going to click continue. I want to do it on all videos because I've just added that to all videos. It's going to check my 350 videos. Um, it was this video. So if I click here and continue, yes, do it. And then start. It's going to say it's done. So I honestly, I only did one video there, didn't I? Which is this one. And now if I go down to the bottom here, there's now a space in between that, right? So see now, see no space there. When I refresh the page, now there's a space. There's the line gap, right? So I know it worked. So now if I go back, there isn't a button to go back and do it again. So let me show you again. Bulk action, find, replace, append. I put in that text, right? And now I add the return and the text. Continue. F gonna find it in every single video. I'll show you what I did to put it in that video. And then I'm gonna click select all. Maybe I shouldn't do all, there's 350. It might take a while to do. But I need to do it anyway. And continue yes do it right and start and it's just going to change every single video it's going to add that space for me you know it does it pretty quick so I think you get what I'm saying is uh, I don't know if I can do it again while it's running so if I go to um, oh this button here video manager and now I might go something like what I have is, um, say, Snapchat. Paul Nicholson. 
go. I might want to change it to Snapchat. Uh, Paul Nicholson, me, right? So if I've changed for some reason my Snapchat uh, handle, I'll continue. I want you to search all my videos. Because it's a defaulted... Um, it's a defaulted upload thing where it says Snapchat for me. You know, you you probably all do the same thing where you you put your links in there. It's only actually found it in two. Because let's have a look. Hey guys, Paul here from Oh, Happy. shut up. Snapchat, Paul Nicholson, go right. I may have put it somewhere different on the other ones. I mean, I might not even put it in. It's not in them ones. So you can see it'll actually find where you've wrote it. I don't think I put my Snapchat. So that wasn't a great example. Um, what do I put? Uh, da -da. So I might want to get rid of, say, my LinkedIn profile. I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna get rid of all these links. I don't want it. They don't really do anything of note. Uh, so I might say that. What am I saying? What do I want to change? So maybe LinkedIn, I might just get rid of my LinkedIn connection, right? So I can find and replace it or I can actually delete it. So I'm going to grab this here because it's part of my default. It'll be on a lot of my videos. I'm going to go back and this time I'm going to put uh, remove delete text. So LinkedIn, continue find it it's going to be in quite a few videos I would think let's go back to see how that's getting on so that's still going <laughs> so you can see how easy it is though you can see what you can do you search for your you search for your um, text you then find it so like I said that LinkedIn is in every single one I click continue. Do you uh, do you want to uh, please confirm that you want to find the text in both description, line breaks found immediately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At start, and that's now deleting my LinkedIn link in all those videos. What else I did was, uh, well, I'm completely messing about. So what happened with that first? that first bit of information see where it says come and join my discussion here what I did was I went to um, my videos and I added a text at the end of all videos so I went bulk action find replace append and then put here add text at the end so obviously you can find text you can search stuff insert insert after text so you can find something then write something afterwards, insert before, the opposite of that, remove and delete, which we've just done. Add text to the end of a description. So this is what I did on all my videos. Uh, insert at the start or replace entire description, which is fine for one or two videos, but you might not want to do it for all of them. So I did, I did, um, you know, what was it? If I still got it? No. It was like, if you want to join my join the discussion right uh, command visit me at whatever it was right paulnicholson.com so this added that to the end of every ev every video but again it just it put it right below the last line so you want to put a space if you want a little gap before you put this and then continue I want to do it on all my videos and then it's going to go find all your videos I don't need to do it because it's actually doing doing the change here so let me if you're still around and I've gone a bit scatty and I've gone a fast through it let me again let me just do find replace append find and replace text so if I'm got HTTPS paulnicholson.com I want to change it with I would always put this space at the front just to make sure you get a gap um, 
Paul Nicholson dot co dot uk right so I want to find everywhere where it says that and change it to this continue search all videos obviously there's other filters if you want to do it on certain playlists maybe that's what you want to edit a playlist you can do it here all videos within one of my playlists click on here it'll go off and search so that one's finished so now you can't find me on LinkedIn because I've deleted the LinkedIn link on all my videos so we hear all the videos that have got paulnicholson.com I would select the ones to change so just make sure you go out swinging I'll just do it on this one start and jump to it and in the description paulnicholson.com has changed to paulnicholson.co.uk and I could have done that across the board. So as I say, it's going to cost you nineteen dollars. So if you do it for one month, if you've only if you only use TubeBuddy for one month, but you've got to change a load of you know if you you're going to change a thousand videos in ten minutes. So it's worth paying the nineteen dollars just for one month, and then go through. There's all sorts of other things TubeBuddy can do. Um, I'll put a. I'll actually put a. Uh, I'll put a category in in the discussion. So if you come to my forum, I'll put a, a YouTube. There probably is a YouTube. I thought there was a YouTube category, but I'll put a YouTube category, and then within that, I'll put Tube Buddy, and I'll add a few videos showing you what Tube Buddy can do for nineteen dollars a month. It's really cool. It's really easy to use, as you see. It's going to save you a lot of time and headaches. And uh, you know it, and it, you know it's it's kind of fun to use. It's easy to use. As I say, oh, I don't know if I did say, but I'm obviously a everybody who becomes uh, a a, a TubeBuddy member becomes a an affiliate. So here's my link below. Uh, TubeBuddy.com forward slash pnuk. I'll put links in the video before if you're still down here. If you're still here. If you go to tube.pnuk.co, get you to the same place. And I'll get a little bit of commission for um, referring you. But I just wanted to show you that I do use it. I pay $19 a month. I edit all my stuff. And it's a really cool feature when you've got to come and you've just changed websites or you've just changed um, social media links or you've changed a brand. $19, you're going to be sorted. So hope that helps. Come and pay me a visit over on paulnicholson.com. Any questions, anything you can dive into uh, within my forum, I'm always obviously here to help. So I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.